win another one. What's up, Kata, y'all? I know my senior you look mad different. Yes, y'all, I'm decided to slit on the floor because my phone is dying, was dead. Try to charge it up, so I got like a two prong ones, the two little USB um plug things. So I got my ring light hooked up into it and whatnot and whatever. It's a disaster. Okay, cause my other big ring light broke. We are gonna get into that. <laughs> so basically this story time is the time that um I quit my job. This is not the first job I ever quit. Like, with this one, I stuck more at home than the other one because I let a, 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 a relevant ass miserable person make me quit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, don't ever do that. Don't, don't do that. Make y'all bag and get y'all bag. So, <clears throat> How this all appeared, y'all remember when I did my haul, my Marshall haul? So yeah, y'all, I used to work for Marshalls, and um, I started in 2021, and basically in November, yeah. And I applied for being a custodian because that's what I wanted to do. That was the 411, the 201, the 399. So I decided to do that. So I wasn't expecting, cause I had put in a lot of job applications cause I left out of um, Burlington. So I had decided to, you know, like apply for other places. I had applied for like, I did Chipotle, Chick-fil-A, um, the airport. I applied for so many fucking positions. Then I didn't even realize I applied for fucking Marshall. So, all of a sudden, I get like a call on my phone, and we gonna give this name, this manager, the name of yeah. mm -hmm. We gonna give a name of hell no. That's her name. Hell no. Hell no. Calls me up on the phone. It was like, can you come in? This how she sound. Karen, hey, how you doing, sweetheart? Can you come in for the interview? Um, Cause you know, we accepted you. Can you come in for your interview on whoop de woo And I said, okay, what day you want me to come in whoop de woo So we got that neither here or there cause we ain't gonna make the story, um, story time long. So I decided to work there. And I came in there and did my little interview when I, I killed it, I aced it. So we gonna get this man named Cause he was one of the custodians. Oh. We'll get this man named. <laughs> female. Because that's what he had like a female. So female was training me. First day he was nasty as shit. Second day that motherfucker never changed. Third day. He still didn't fucking change. Third day he actually did some shady ass shit. So let me tell y'all something. First day. There was actually somebody in there that actually had a stroke on the first day I was working there. And I was just talking to her. I love her up and down, shout out to my girl. So I was like, okay, cool, we're not. And so all of a sudden we was like talking and talking. So he did some shady shit because he was yelling at me and I was like, just like, Overwhelmed, so I decided. Like, I started fucking crying. Don't judge me, I'm real Scorpio at heart. So, I decided I was getting like real mad, fucking emotional and shit. So, I started crying. And so, all of a sudden, he goes to the manager, and I knew he did some shady shit. But he went to the manager, all of a sudden, at the end of the day, I'm ready to go to fuck home because you know, custodians leave at a certain time of the night. So I'm ready to go to fuck home. And so all of a sudden, he, um, the manager, um, so hell no, was like, uh, Carrie, are you sure you like this position? I mean, I said, yeah, why you mean? She said, because you act like, they, you know, because what you call it, um, female was like, oh, well, you don't like the job. And he was just like, you was crying and if you did too much for you, then you might as well just not go ahead. And I'm thinking like, okay, well, I lose my job because this is, I mean, okay, man, if y'all feel that way, if y'all feel that way, then I won't do the fuck with y'all, okay? Because I'm not going to be sitting here fighting back and forth and tell this he say, she say bullshit. Like, I'm not with it. Like, I'm not on that high school shit. So, 
If I didn't come in my mouth and say that I didn't want the job, so how the fuck y'all gonna say it? I owe oh, you do you like it? Oh, shut up. So that was red flag number fucking one. So, the shade. So, red flag number two is when I was working in the back, they had put me in a different position. So I was working in the back and the receiving. So this guy, we gonna get his name is, I get around. Get around was like, oh, he said, I'm just like, you know, right now, Carrie, he said, when you get your 30 days in here, people gonna start being shit. So I fucking took that shit and learned. I should have had took it. So I moved from that position to the freaking floor. So guess where the fuck I got back to? The fitting room. Cause somebody had to, oh, she had a cyst on her thing, which I believe she did. She had a cyst on her um lung. Said she had to get it removed and she said she was coming back, but my girl didn't come back. Like, so I had to fucking take over for both two people. So I'm like, okay, you know, I'm really loving my hair color. It's cute, y'all, ain't it? I did it myself, y'all. My name is y'all see a little hint of blue on the side too. Like, I'm giving y'all the ooh la la. Look at this. Look at me, y'all. So, um, I'm like, okay. So, I'm just like, okay. I'm thinking, like, okay, the fit room is going to be a little bit and we'll be woo. And I'm going to get over it and da 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 da. Y'all, kids, y'all fucking not. It's the next fucking year. 2022. 2022. I'm still in the fucking fitting room. Miserable as shit. So at this point, I'm like making mingling, making friends and shit back there. Like, I'll tell you, everybody like at my store, like I got half of the fucking people in my store on Facebook every day. Like, people there love your girl. Like, I'm like a key everywhere I go. So, I'm like... Oh my God, everybody just keep coming. I'm legitimately seeing employees leaving and coming back, leaving and never coming back. Employees cussing people out, never coming back. I'm seeing people coming and going. And I'm still staring at this one fucking position. Then I'm sitting there talking about, I'm going to leave me my other girl. We'll get her name of Cool M. Cool M and Cool J. Cool J left before I did. That was my girl right there. Cool J left. And Cool M, Cool M was like, yeah, I'm going to leave, I'm going to leave, and I'm going to go to the airport, and I'm going to work at the airport. <laughs> Yo, to tell you why everybody who said they was going to leave, and I was the first one to say, I'm going to leave, right? So to tell you why everybody who said they was going to leave, they left before I did, but Cool M's still there. And she's a coordinator, so they, they, they should have called her ass, so they gave her the coordinator position, so that's why she stayed. So I was like, yo, what the fuck? So I'm seeing all my close good good Judy's leaving. So these new people coming in and I'm loving them. They loving me. So it's like I'm getting more fucking friends. So it's like, okay, we're it's a big ass family here at this point. So I wanna say It was October. And we're gonna get this girl name of uh, No, oh, I missed a lot of points in there. So hell no, the manager, hell no. She was starting so much shit up in that dance store with everybody in there. She had like, you know how I tell you the new people was coming in? So the new people came in, she was just sitting up there like, just showing her ass because we gonna give this woman name of, cause I love this one. Cause she gave me my nickname, Sunshine. So we gonna give her a nickname of Grandma because she was like my grandmother. So grandma was like, grandma A, we won't call her grandma A. Grandma A was like, she put something in the bag. So also in the bag, it's like the end of the day. So the bag started leaking. So let me tell you something prior to that. So we gonna give this other girl a name of, cause she was brand new. So this other girl name was, we gonna give her the name Meg. For sure, Meg. Y'all got the rest of it, Meg. So Meg, me and her, we, we kicking it, we talking. So we gonna get this other girl the name of Chain Smoker. Cause she I'm just gonna move like a chain smoker. I love her death though, but she's a chain smoker. So she comes up as I come because she always asking me for help because nobody else will fucking help her. So she asking me for help and she was just like, Well, can, this is how she told Kid, can, can you help me out? Can you help me out? I kid y'all like yo, she told just like that. Can you help me out? Can you help me out? And so I'm like, sure. Can you help me out? You can help Meg with her stuff over there. I said, okay. So I went over there and I helped Meg out with her stuff. 
So all of a sudden, me and Meg, we trying to get to know each other. We kicking, and Gaga and Ha Ha Kiki. Carrie's a key. Like, I'm funny, I'm nice, and I'm bubbly. So people love my personality. So I'm like, yeah, like I said, I'm a life of party. So all of a sudden, Meg was like, all of a sudden, Chain smoker goes back to hell and all. It was like they over there, they over there talking. They not doing their work. All of a sudden, I heard hell and all come out. I said, "It don't take two people to be doing all of that." I'm just like, okay, you know what? <laughs> okay. First of all, she told me to help her out, but you know, okay, that is here, 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 whatever. So, like I said before, was. Like she was tripping out in the bag. It was like, whoever did this is stupid. I'm just like, what? All I know, everybody who was working there with brand new quit. I kid you not. They all freaking quit. You're the problem, ma'am. So all of a sudden, I'm like, I'm the type to kiss people's ass. I don't know why. Because if you sound my shit, I'm gonna have to kiss your ass. So. All of a sudden, I got word back from Cool M. Cool M, no, no, move, move. Cool M, excuse me, Cool M. Dad. No. Uh, I got back from Cool D. Cool D. I'm, we, no, we gonna call her Miss Margarita. Miss Margarita because she drinks a lot. So Miss Margarita, Miss Margarita was like, um. Margarita D was like, oh, you know, uh, hell no, I was really um, upset with you the other day because you didn't clean up the film. First of all, bitch, just the fuck out of me. I cleaned that film. So what the fuck is she talking about? I cleaned that film. So also I went to Cool M because I remember Cool M was cozy that night. So I went to Cool M and Cool M was like, no, I went in there and that fit room was clean. And it had nothing left. It might be a hanger left here and there. It might have dropped out my hand. But besides that, that motherfucking film would be fucking spectacular. And I would insert a, not a video, because last time I said video, it was not a fucking video. I'm going to insert a picture of what the hell I feel. So you got a weak stomach. This is a disclaimer. If you got a weak stomach, you, like I said disclaimer. If you have a weak stomach, do not look at this picture here. Right here. Or maybe this one. It might have been better. But yeah, that's why I used to find it in the fit room. So, I already told them before, that, like, on Halloween, I'm taking my child out to, you know, trick or treat. So, I'm going to share a picture of her with her little costume on. And if y'all follow me on Instagram, y'all probably seen her. But she looked real cute, real giving. So, I had her little Halloween outfit on. I took her out. So, I remember I had came in on Saturday and dropped the little request off to let them know they had mine coming in on Monday because I got my child I need to check out. So all of a sudden, I want to say Tuesday, this is November, y'all. This is what all the hell broke the fuck loose out of nowhere. So I'm like, you know how you get that feeling in your body? Like, it's not giving. Like, it ain't giving what it's supposed to be giving. Like, hell no. So... I'm coming to work. I'm just sitting in the car like... I don't think I want to go to work. Like, I think I'm about to quit. I think I'm done. So I was like, oh, this is <laughs> Look, it's a funny day, y'all. I think if I had it, I, if I do got the picture, I would, like, insert it if I don't. Oh, well. So I'm going to give y'all for being what it said. I always used to wrote my, like, two weeks notice on a piece of paper. Like, I'm putting my two weeks notice on. You remember I told y'all I was applying for the airport. So, the airport wanted to hire you, girl. So, all of a sudden, November the 1st, and this was on a Tuesday of 2020 fucking two. So, I come in and work. I'm releasing the other girl, Margarita D, from her little position. She comes to me and was just like, yeah, duh, duh. we talking, we kiki, and we laugh. And that's what she told me about takeoff. Dying and my whole heart fucking shattered. I was like, stop fucking playing. Cause that's my baby. Like, don't don't do that. Or we gonna share a clip and a picture of my man's takeoff and rest in peace, baby. <laughs> Mwah, I love you and always rest in peace. You a real one. So 
all the sighting. I'm looking around. Hey, you look, you get a bad feeling. All the same, this hell to the knoll. She comes up out of nowhere. I'm wearing this cute little long, you know, like cardigan. And, um, I might have a picture. I might not have my picture that particular day, but I will start a picture right here. I had the cardigan look. So I had this long, like, maroon cardigan, real pretty. So I had that on with, uh, I think it's like the same fit I had on. I think it's actually the same fit I had on. And I had my like cute little chest boots and whatnot. It was like giving. It was giving some good. I don't think I had them chest boots. I think I had on my maroon boots on. It was giving. Like I'm saying, your girl always step, 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 step. So we gonna get this other girl named uh Crooked Back. Crooked Back. We're gonna sit up here and be like, oh, she's like, oh yeah, you finally taking care of yourself. You right, finally. Let me look. I'm like the words of Sally. We gonna start a picture of my girl Sally, the it girl. Period. <laughs> period. Like I always step, hun. This is not a day in my life that I never said, baby, you started stepping because I started stepping. You say I was cleaning fucking toilets. Why would I want to be dressed looking nice cleaning fucking toilets? Baby, I always got compliments everywhere I went. Remind y'all, there's people around. I might roll up. So there might be, there's people around. The fly we smoking on today is Great 8. Um, premium Delta 8. And this is uh, in the cookie. So yeah, we will be rolling out. So yeah, I don't smoke that other stuff no more. The regular marijuana no more because yeah, because I'm trying to keep myself kind of clean, sort of clean because I will be working at the airport soon. That's my part-time job, my second job. So like I said before, don't mind me up because I'm going back here to my stuff. So as I was saying before was, oh y'all be right back because yeah, I had to go back. I had to get my little cookie grinder. See? In my sweater. Behind the sweater. I can just off I didn't Amazon. So yeah, y'all. <clears throat> so oh okay. Like, so hell no comes up to me like, oh you must not have it having a good day because um yeah um me and the other manager came in on Monday. Now remind y'all Monday was what? The Halloween and I will post the calendar for that day. It was Halloween. I wasn't there. So whoever did that, it was on them. So to find out that through cool and that Margarita D was setting me up. Okay. But say less. So to when I vlog, you might end up seeing her in there. I might even confront her ass because she won't be money anyway. So, so all of a sudden, I'm sitting there. I'm just looking around like, what is what what, 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 what the fuck is going on? Like, so all of a sudden, she's just like all that. And I remember we gonna give her one in um, Jamaican. I mean Jamaican. Uh, Jamaica Queen, Jamaica's Queen, Jamaica, Jamaican Queen. Look at my words, yo, Jamaican Queen. So Jamaican Queen was like, all of a sudden she was like telling me that how she was kind of little acting, but that was later on in the story. So I remember, like I told you before, in that little card again, I had my two weeks know what to stand there because I was going to drop this a lot of editing because of a lot of damn storage being taken out, but whatever. So that's part two. So I was talking to, um, we gonna get this woman named Florida. Miss Florida, cause she's from Florida. So Miss Florida was like, and I was talking to her cause I started crying, cause I walked off. I was like, I'm done. I walked off cause I'm tired of being humiliated. So I walked off. So I walked off and I started talking to Florida. Florida was like, well, she like, and if you, I'm in the back talking to her. All of a sudden, hell no comes in that bitch with an attitude. Talking about some, if you got something to say, you can say it to my, I'm like, whoa. If that's what you give and that's what you give it to, babe, we can get crumped too over here. Because I would knock your ass clean the fuck up out of this bitch. Understand that? So I didn't give her that attitude. But I was still being professional, bitch. You being unprofessional. They let you know how funky and stupid your fucking stupid ass is, bitch. And I don't give a fuck you seeing this video or not, ho. Because guess what, bitch? I his all getting directed to your way, ho. So... She getting crunk and nasty, talking about some, and then you know she ain't dead, you leave, that's what happened, then Margarita D's on Margarita D's been talking about leaving that bitch. 
Get the fuck, Margaret D been working there for 11 fucking years. You think I really feel bad for bitches who been sitting there working for fucking goddamn close to 15 to 20 years and y'all complain about how it still is? Bitch, that's your fault. So, <laughs> so all of a sudden, I'm like, okay, whatever, bitch. Like, I ain't worried about your little goofy, stupid ass, crooked ass wig, dried up ass wig, old motherfucking lower four claws, head ass motherfucker. Bitch, I'm gonna pull some bitch a lower four claws. That's how that bitch look like. This y'all get it done in death. You look like a fucking dead going like you belong off a strike, my nigga. So, like, I'm not even worried about you, though. So, all of a sudden, I told, um, Floyd, I said, you know what? I'm done with this shit. So, I walked clean the fuck out. And I went in the fitting room. I mean, in the break room. And I talked to my girl, Jamaica. And, I mean, Jamaica. And Jamaica Queen was like, oh, yeah, I understand. She was like, and when you leave, she's like, call up, um, call up, uh, what you call it, HR, let them know what's going on. And I said, I will definitely let them know what's going on, but I'm I'm done. I was going to walk away and just cool it down, but at this fucking point, I was just like, fuck this place. It was so much fucking drama in this place. This was legitimately a fucking man. Like I told you, the one that was fucking sitting there hired, like you training me for doing the custodian, fucking female bitch ass nigga. He was sitting there, motherfucking sitting there and fucking sitting up there, y'all. No lie, looking up my name. The find that someone saw, I find that you, and I'm gonna give my girl the name of Bestie R, cause that's what her name is, but her real name is begin with a T. But Bestie R was like, and I went to Bestie, I said, Bestie, I said, you know, sis, I'm like, Tell me why nigga like female son there talking about we cousins. Like, he said, shut. First of all, why the fuck is he looking at my name? So technically, that's a lawsuit. Cause that's a harassment. Then when I try to pull myself away, he's trying to grasp my arm. So you're harassing me. Oh, we can talk about that. Since we want to talk about shit, right? So tell me why. So I left the body and never came to fuck back. I was done with that. So I started working next door um, to a store called Skirt Pro. And I'm going to insert a picture of Skirt Pro. So if y'all follow me on my TikTok, that's the store that I was working in. So. And I would not give you a location or nothing where the fuck that's at. Because I ain't got time for y'all to be going through my store and asking fucking questions and shit. Because it's none of y'all really being y'all fucking concerned for me, though. I'm playing now, y'all. But, um. Yeah, so also to tell you why I think it was like this year. I had called back and I'm like, fuck it, I'm trying to go back to work there. I'm like, that's a little part time shit, right? So I tell you why I called it, the bitch answered the fucking phone. Hell no, dude. Hell no, answered the phone and told myself, we left off on a bad note. You went off on me, Carrie. No, the fuck I didn't. Now I said, bitch, you're lying. I said, you're a compulsive ass liar. That's what you is. I'm like, you know what, at this point, I say, you feel like I went off of you, I'm sorry. <laughs> I said, that's the definition of going off, bitch. Anybody can go off of me. I'll call me I was, baby, everybody can go off of me. <laughs> so I was like, okay, you know what, this is not giving. So God blesses me with a job. At, like, y'all, I'm the assistant manager now. So, therefore, I am happy and I'm blessed. And I do have another part-time job with um, working at the um, at this little sunglass hut thing. So, I will be working there. So, that'll be like my little one-time job. So, yeah, I'm getting paid. So, I'm happy. I'm blessed. I don't need y'all little crumbs. Y'all can take them crumbs and feed it to the birds. Because that job is for the birds. What well, I'm working at and what my position is now. Oh, baby, that's for an adult. So, yeah, y'all. So yeah, y'all, I don't know what's coming to do. But yeah, y'all, that's all for my little story time. I hope y'all like. And if y'all want more story time, just let me know. Because I might debate and on doing my other story time. But I'm going to redo it because I don't like how well it's coming off. So I'm going to actually change it up more. So yeah, y'all, I love y'all. What up, cut ups. And we manifest some what positivity, healthiness, and wealthiness. With big Scorpio energy on here. Gracias, tata. Love y'all. Smooth shit. Bye. Come on, Kayla, I'll say bye. Oh, damn. Say bye. Bye. Say bye. bye. Say bye. Say bye. Say love y'all. Say see y'all later. Wow. Oh, y'all, you ready to go. She got shorts on, y'all. So love y'all. Bye. Marco. Marco. Back with another one.